Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Julia binti Johari. You can call me Julia. And here are my friends. So why are we here? So today in this video, we will explain how to determine whether a proposition is a tautology, contradiction, or contingency. We will also explain how to determine whether two propositions are logically equivalent. Last but not least. We will also explain how to write converse, inverse, or contrapositive of a conditional statement. What is a proposition? A proposition is a mathematical statement such as 10 is greater than 8, an infinite set exists, 19 is a prime. In mathematical logic, we can define the proposition as either the statement is true or false, even there are a few exclusions. So first, what is a tautology? Tautology is a compound proposition that is always true for all possible truth value. Then, what is a contradiction? Hmm, contradiction is a proposition that is always false. Next, what is contingency? Contingency is a proposition that is neither a tautology or contradiction. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nuan Sophia Omar, a student of Faculty Science and Mathematics. Today, I would like to present an example for our topic which is logical equivalence. First of all, I would like to briefly about what is tautology, contradiction and contingency. We need to be clear that tautology proportion will always be true, contradiction proportion will always be false, and contingency are neither true nor false. Okay, now we're moving to our first example and the question given is determine whether the following proportion is tautology, contradiction or contingency for not A implies B by conditionally to C and by using truth table. Okay, the first step is we need to define the columns and rows to make the truth table and then we need to define the truth value of A, B and C. Okay, the next step is we need to find the truth value for A implies B. A implies B is false when A, which is the hypothesis, is true and B, which is the conclusion, is false. Okay, right now, the first step is we need to define the true value for the negation of A implies B. In this step, all the true value are the opposite true value of A implies B. And for the last step, we need to define the true value for the negation of A implies B by conditionally to C. For this situation, the truth value will be true if the conclusion and hypothesis are both having the same truth value. And that's it. We are done for example 1. That's all from me. Thank you. For now, let's take a look at the definition of logically equivalent. Two compound statements A and B are said to be logically equivalent written as When the statement A is true, if and only if the statement B is true and respectively. Hi, I'm Putri Farah will be explaining about how to answer logical equivalent question. Given question is to use the truth table to verify the following logical equivalence. P implies Q and R is equivalent to P implies Q and P implies R. Step 1 is define number of row by applying to power of N where n is our number of variable. Uh, in this question, our variable is p, q, and r. So, 2 power of 3 is 8. Number of row is 8. Step 2 is define the truth value for p, q, and r. For p is true, 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 false, false, false. q, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. R is true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Step 3 is define the true value for Q and R. True, false, 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 true, false, false, false. Step 4 is define the true value for P implies Q and R. True, false, 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 true, 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 true. Step 5 is define the true value for P implies Q. True, true, false, false, true, 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 true. Step 6 is define the true value for P implies R. True, false, true, false, true, 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 true. Step 7 is define the true value for P implies Q and P implies R. True, 
false, 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 true, 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 true. After that, we compare compound statement 1 and 2. As we can see, true value for 1 and 2 is same. So we can conclude that P implies Q and R it is, is equivalent to P implies Q and P implies R because they have the same true value. What is mean by converse? Converse statement is formed by exchanging the hypothesis and conclusion of the conditional. What is the mean by inverse? Inverse statement is formed by negating both hypothesis and conclusion of the conditional. And next, what is the mean by contrapositive? Hmm. Contrapositive statement is formed by negating both the hypothesis and conclusion of the converse statement. So now let's take a look at the simple example here. So let's say we have A implies B. A will be our hypothesis and B will be our conclusion. To write it as converse, we can write as B implies A. B implies A. For inverse, we can write it as not A implies not B. For the contrapositive, we can write it as not B implies not A. So here are the simple example. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Shamini Aida Binti Raza and I will continue to explain for this video. I will explain about the conditional converse, inverse and contrapositive. So the implication had given for this example. For hypothesis is if triangle ABC is isosceles and contains an angle of 45 degrees. For conclusion is then ABC is a right triangle. First step we had to divide that implication into the simple statement and let it into the variable. So let P into the triangle ABC is isosceles, let Q into the triangle ABC contains an angle of 45 degrees and let R into ABC is a right triangle and we be it will become P and Q implies R. The first conditional I will explain is converse. So, for converse, you have to twist the hypothesis and conclusion. The hypothesis will become conclusion and the conclusion will become hypothesis. In word invariable, the answer is R implies P and Q. In sentence, the answer is if ABC is a right triangle, then triangle ABC is isosceles and contains an angle of 45 degrees. Next conditional is inverse. For inverse, just use the original one, but you have to put not into the hypothesis sentence and put not into the conclusion sentence. It will become not, open bracket, P and Q, close bracket implies not R. Don't forget to expand not, open bracket, P and Q, close bracket. So, using D Morgan's law. So, the answer is, open bracket, not P or not Q, close bracket implies not R. In sentence, the answer is, if triangle ABC is not isosceles or not contains an angle of 45 degrees, then ABC is a not a right triangle. Last conditional is contrapositive. So from the original, you had to twist the conclusion and the hypothesis. The hypothesis will become conclusion and the conclusion will become hypothesis. So, and put not into the hypothesis and conclusion sentence. It will become not R implies not open bracket B and Q close bracket. Also, don't forget to expand not open bracket P and Q close bracket using the model's law. The answer will become not R implies not P or not Q. In sentence, the answer is if ABC is a not right triangle, then triangle ABC is a not isosceles or not contains an angle of 45 degrees. All in all, 
We learned three things today about this topic, which is logically equivalent in detail with an explanation and example of the question. Firstly, we understand the meaning and can easily determine the totality, contradiction and contingency. Secondly, we can know whether the two propositions are logically equivalent or not. And finally, we can write uh, the conditional statements converse, inverse and contrapositive. At first, you may be having the struggle to understand this topic. But as long as you do exercise frequently, it will become easier for you to grasp it. I hope that all of this help all of us understand more about this topic and apply this knowledge well in our life.